my friends, MD Vegan. I have a quick and easy breakfast today with all I like for a breakfast usually. That's nuts and fruit. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I take seeds, granola or so, but nuts and fruits is perfect. And I make it always a little bit different, always a new recipe, because I want the variety of all the plant kingdom on my menu. <laughs> That is a super healthy thing you can do. As is, there is a plant-based whole food diet. The whole food plant-based diet is considered the healthiest diet on planet Earth for humans. And if you add variety, it's even healthier, as we more and more find out. So the more different plants we put in over a year, for example, the better. So that's why our method is so great. I make a new recipe every day to get that. <laughs> and variety is also within a dish not only the number of ingredients, but also um, the quality of the ingredients, the properties. For example, I have here nuts and fruit. That's two different kinds. And then I have dried fruit here. Within the fruit, I have here grapes and raisins. Maybe it's the same fruit, but the different texture. You know, This is dried and this is fresh. And if you have this variety, of textures, for example, you also have a um, more exciting flavor. And here's the banana, for example. The banana is soft and sweet, yeah, we know. And then I have an apple that is crunchy and more sweet and sour. So another difference, another variety here. And the ultimate, the last, is the almond. It's a nut. I always said that before. It's not. It's not. It's not really a nut. It's considered a nut in, on the, in the kitchen, but it is not a precise nut. This is a different kind of plant. Um, to complicate it now, <laughs> it's a berry. I don't know what it is. It's not a nut. And, and I have cinnamon here. Nutrient-wise, it's a nut because you have the fat, you know, like other nuts. And so that makes it a nut. It looks like a nut <laughs> and so on. And here is a, a cinnamon that is a spice. It's a bark from a tree. It's very hard. Uh, it's ground and um, it has a wonderful flavor, a dry earth flavor. And I like it with sweets. It's always used in sweet desserts, for example. It's a very strong. And today I put it together with the lemony cashew milk. I have some left over here. That's a lemony cashew milk. How to make that? I show in another video. Click on this video. Just blend cashews with dates, lemon and lemon zest and water. And then you have a lemony cashew milk, yeah. So uh, it's a very different, um, very nice flavor because the lemon zest is the best part of lemon, nutrition-wise. Yeah, the flesh is sour and the juice that is sour and lemony flavor is from the zest, and it's super healthy. The healthiest part of the lemon on the outside. That's with all citrus fruit, but you can't eat that much oftentimes because they're very intense. These etheric oils, the oil that can evaporate in the peel of the lemon or the orange and so on very powerful. You can only take a little bit, but they're very strong. So, what I put together now, I make a milk soup kind of breakfast. It's a very easy breakfast. You put the fruit together in a fruit salad, the bananas, the apples, the grapes, already three different textures of fresh fruit. And then I have the dried parts, that's the almonds, the raisins, and the cinnamon, all dry. And then I combine everything. If I have less ingredients, so maybe three or four or so, I put it directly into my plate and then I pour the milk over it. But when I have more ingredients like this one, I put it in a bowl first. Yeah, like here, I combine everything evenly because you can't do that in a plate. That's such a practical thing, just an easy practical reason that I do it in a, in a, in a bowl before. Once it is all evenly combined, like now, I put it, some of it into a plate. I'll show you in a moment. And then I pour the milk over it. That's the milk breakfast, the milk soup breakfast, as I call it. It's so easy. When you have your plant milk ready, you can take any kind of milk, basically. But this one, the lemony cashew milk, is really a, a great... Uh, recently made it and so I like it so much because it has this strong lemony flavor from the lemon zest 
it's really um, makes a big difference together with the with the nice buttery sweetish cashew uh, and and this lemony flavor it's really characteristic it's a very strong flavor and it goes to nice with almonds for example they also have a strong flavor a little bit bitter it goes to nice with uh, very nice with cinnamon for example it's not with everything nice yeah? the lemony cashew look um, I wouldn't put it together with vanilla for example vanilla is a very strong character on its own and with um, with the lemony zest uh, the lemony cashew milk I tried it wasn't so good I don't know why maybe maybe different recipe I don't know but but the cinnamon it's wonderful it's really exactly what's what's nice yeah and show you this is my fruit salad yeah, and now I put the soup on it yeah, it's, it's it's not really a soup yeah but it's kind of a soup because um, the dressing here is so runny as in a soup yeah so you can take also more of, of the milk or less or more of the fruit or so and you have it more like a soup there's of course more filling when you have more of the fruit you see in the nuts this is my milk soup now <laughs> cashew milk soup with a um, nice fruit salad and it's a very common seasonal fruit yeah bananas you have it all the time it's what you call it? banana season i don't know <laughs> today but, but apples grapes you know and um that's pretty much seasonal and so uh that's my breakfast today and i'm looking forward to it it's filling it's crunchy it's delicious super healthy easy to make what do you want thanks for watching uh, if you like like my video subscribe mdv on youtube have another recipe every single day and find me on facebook instagram pinterest and twitter